It was an average autumn morning in Ponyville. Birds trilled to each other in the dawn's golden light. The sweet little squirrels forced among the fallen leaves, seeking snacks they could hide away for the winter. Some of which they'd even remember come winter time. Fluttershy cooed at the not quite frantic yet preparations of the wildlife on the outskirts of town as she walked into town. It was a completely average Ponyville day, and Fluttershy had lived in Ponyville for a very long time. So the shrill scream that came from the center of town only startled her a little bit. Fluttershy considered herself somewhat of a connoisseur of Rarity's shrieks. There was the bug-shaped pocket lint yelp, usually punctuated by the quiet thump of a dead faint. The classic Sweetie Belle to something scream that made the locals run for cover in case the resulting mess would catch on fire, explode, or come to life and help fund the local therapist business. And the I just had the best inspiration ever and I simply must create this darling shriek. The main and the last one hurt was Rarity's budget, followed by the inevitable despair as whatever she'd manifested in her creative frenzy never quite matched up with the image in her head. It was, thankfully, the third type, which meant Fluttershy had enough time to brace herself while racing to Carousel Boutique. The easiest way to tell she was nearing the boutique was the number of birds' nests nestling into the tiny nooks of the Ponyville gutters abruptly plummeted. By the time the boutique was in sight, all local wildlife was eerily absent. The first reason for this phenomenon was the noise. The closest neighboring animals were shocked that ponies lived near a frequent high-pitched disturbance. Their frequent fauna treated rarity with the same reverence that ancient ponies treated old Nafel. Fascinating, pretty, and liable to explode dramatically at any given time. The second reason was Opal. Rarity was good at locking the boutique's doors and windows, but Opal was unusually talented at exfiltration, and ponies weren't exempt from feline hunting instincts. The lack of pained yelps from the tourists peeking through the window of Carousel Boutique told Flanish that Opal hadn't quite made her daring escape yet. But with Rarity's creative inspiration, darling, it was only a matter of time. Fluttershy opened the front door of the boutique a crack, blindingly flinging a hook through to stop an enterprising Opal and squeeze herself through the gap. Opal graced Fluttershy with a mildly disgruntled look before turning to look a hind leg in a dismissive, I don't know what you're worried about. I have never attempted to escape in my life, manner. Sometimes Fluttershy wondered about the cat. Specifically, she wondered if Opal thought all ponies lacked a working memory. Are you okay? Fluttershy asked. Her greys finally looked above the feline to take in the state of the... Oh. No. Oh, absolutely, Fluttershy, dearest set the frighteningly familiar rock in the center of the showroom. You're actually the exact pony I want to see. This would end in spectacular failure. Oh dear. The Pegasus managed. Why would that be? Wouldn't Pinkie Pie know more about rocks than... One hoof waved dismissively from underneath the giant boulder. A hoof-chiseled tunnel barely visible. Of 
course, darling. But this isn't any old rock. The hoof tucked back inside. And moments later, a dusty head popped out. It's a space rock! Um... Began Fluttershy sitting down. She didn't know enough about space to completely refute the point. But... That seemed very unlikely. Considering... You do remember Tom, don't you? Rarity beamed. Glittering dust falling from her mane. Fluttershy sighed. Yes, I do. I know you're disgrace. Very sorry about tricking you into thinking it was something valuable. But... The head disappeared underneath Tom again. Nonsense! It really is valuable! You're not the fragments are rather sparkly, yes? She noted the chips of stone that littered the hole's entrance and made an effort to recall the trivia she'd picked up from Pinky and Maud. That looks like mica. And mica isn't usually present in meteors. I'm not sure that... I'm making a gift for Luna! What is I blinked? Luna? Yes! The back end of the unicorn scooted out of the hole in Tom, muffling the voice within. Or, hopefully, we will be making Luna a gift! I'm going to make this into stone beads! And I presume you can still knit, yes? She didn't like where this was going. Yes, I can. But... Nonsense, darling! You're wonderful at it! The stars are the limit, Fluttershy! Literally, we can make her a space scarf, a meteor tea cozy, together with you, me, and Tom. We... Er... Er... We could... The dusty white rump wiggled for a moment, scuffed at the floor, stopped. Let's shy. The Pegasus in question wondered if the elements of generosity historically corresponded to a chronic lack of common sense, or if Rarity was the exception. Yes, Rarity. Stuck. Be a dear and help me out of Tom. Oh, I have such wonderful ideas and... There was a loud sneeze, then a more contemplative silence. Fluttershy gently grabbed Rarity's hind leg and tugged. I'm sure you do, but I think Luna would know if this was a real meteor or not. Don't you want Ma to check? More silence answered her as she dislodged her friend from the giant rock. Slowly, dustily, Rarity slid against the floor. Fluttershy? Yes, Rarity? Why didn't you tell me these pieces look absolutely nothing like beads? Ugh, I have no choice but to start over! Fluttershy nipped the empty space where Rarity's tail had been as the unicorn dove back underneath Tom. Above, she could hear Opal scrambling against a window ledge. The faint jostling of the lock barely audible over Rarity's contented humming. It was an average day in Ponyville. Nothing Fluttershy wasn't used to, and nothing she couldn't handle. But... Was going to be a long average day in Ponyville. Thank you for listening, every pony. Feel free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to know when I post more content like this. Feel free to follow me on TikTok, Patreon, X, and Discord. Links in the description. And should you want to join my new nation, feel free to join the Shade Hollow, my Discord server. Good night, everypony.